Hello everybody, Ruby Mario here, live from the University of Toledo Music Room. Uh, finally bringing you my PPL D2 draft analysis. Now this has been a long time coming, this is my third attempt, so hopefully this one doesn't uh, end up as bad as the other one, but without further ado, let's get started. With my first pick, I chose Kelio. Um, I had a sixth pick, um, there were one, two things I wanted before Kelio, but they got taken for me, so when my turn came around, I, uh, I sent Keldeo. Um, it's a higher tier mod that I like using, comfortable using, enjoy using, um, so I thought, why not start off the team taking him? Um, I like him because he hits hard, you can run specs, he's fast enough, uh, life orb, leftover substitute, something that I, uh, I like using. He is one of my favorites, so... I'm glad he's on board. Round two is the pick that has me scratching my head. Um, I chose Mega B Drill. Um, now, don't get me wrong, I love Mega B Drill, and it's the one that I wanted. That's the one Mega that I looked 14 mil, wanted, needed, but the part that scratched my head is I took it in the second round, 19th overall. Uh, there maybe could have been a couple more things I should have taken had I gotten back, but I don't know. I'm glad I got him. I knew I wanted him. Um, gonna use him. Hits hard, super fast. Gotta get that protect up first. But maybe I come in against a slower, slower mon. Hurry up, mega evolve. Get my full stats. Don't even need to, to use the protect. Um, I. I'm, I'm glad I took my Gabi drill. Um, round three, I chose Latios. Now, Latios is where I strayed away from my plan. Um, originally, I had others on there, but when I saw Latios was there, round three, I took him. Um, he, I, I thought about him taking second round, but wasn't on the list, so I took Mega B Drill. Um, I'm happy I have him. There's a reason he's so good in OU. Uh, hits hard, again. Fast, 110. Uh, not bad defensively, special defensive. He has defog, uh, wide move, move pool. That's one thing I like about him. Uh, so, hopefully, uh, Latios does work. And... Round four. Round four I picked... Talonflame. Yep, that's right, everybody. Talonflame. Um, Talonflame, originally, uh, I wrote on my list that had Talonflame been around for round three, he's the guy I wanted. But I saw Latios there, and I'm like, I can't pass that up. So I picked Talonflame. Um, now, in the beginning, Talonflame was something I wanted, but not that I needed. Uh, I would have been happy taking Honchkrow but I took Talonflame instead. Um, people, people don't like Talonflame for a lot of reasons, because he's, I don't know, Brave Bird City. Um, but when I looked at my first three picks, I saw that Talonflame or any Brave Bird would just destroy uh, two of my three picks, and uh, so I thought I'd rather have him so nobody else gets him and destroys me with them. Um, happy I got him. Um, and I mean, people hate him. I don't hate him. Um, glad I got him. Think he's worth the 15 mil. Uh, only one way to find out. When it comes to draft based league, everybody wants their fast electric type. So for me, uh, I chose Jolteon. Jolteon is fast and it hits hard. It, you turn and above all it gives me an electric immunity without being ground type um, it, two, two of my previous four picks were weak to electricity so when I had it uh, when I had my fifth pick I chose Jolteon um, it only has one weakness ground and as of now I have two uh, ground immunities but later on in the draft, you'll see I have a couple more. Um, Jolteon is something that, again, wasn't on my initial list, but he was there. 
I wanted them, I needed them, I got them. Round six, I got Granville. Now, Granville was at the top of my list uh, for fairies. Um, I think he's an underrated, uh, underrated fairy. He's got Intimidate. He's got uh, that defensive bulk that I needed. My most bulky uh, pick thus far. Um, I got a lot of flack for that, but I, I, I think uh, I think Granville will will be a key part of the team this year, this season. Um, he helps um, he helps give me an answer for for other dragons and physical fighting types. He kind of kind of checks them pretty good. Um, happy I got him. He's got a very versatile move pool, so he he won't have to be restricted to just the same one or two sets off season. So uh, looking for big things from Granville. Pick seven came. I'm like, man, I really need some bulk. I got a lot of fast hard hitters. I need something to counter uh, other fast hard hitters, or something to give me a little uh, a, a little stay around. Um, but instead, I took Flygon. Flygon is something that was on my list. Flygon gives me uh, a dragon. It gives me ground, so no electric type. That gives me two electric immunities. Um, ground immunity, unless, you know, the pe pesky mold breaker um, with Levitate. Um, Flygon filled a hole that I needed, and that was Defog. Uh, I needed something to get rid of Stealth Rocks that would just decimate my team. Uh, between Mega Beedrill and Town Flame, and Jolteon's not too, uh, not too bulky. So I needed, I needed a way to get rid of, uh, of rocks and, and, and spikes. So I don't know, Flygon was there. I took him. Uh, he's fast enough that I fast enough, and he, he can hit hard enough to where he doesn't just have to be defog. He can U-turn, can earthquake, dragon claw, fire punch, whatever I need him. Um, round eight. Again, oh man, I really need that bulk. Really need that bulk. What do I do? I go back to my list and I take Sharpedo, which is not very bulky at all. Um, Sharpedo was on the list in the beginning, and as I went through, I think I went to lunch, came back, sat down. Oh look, Sharpedo's there. Let's take Sharpedo. Um, Sharpedo is the pick that if I could do again, I would take something else. I would use those points and probably go into to defense. Um, but instead, I took another frail hard hitter. Um, again, if I had it back, maybe I'd do something different. Maybe I don't. Um, but the more and more I looked at Sharpedo, the more I realized that he can actually do pretty good against my first one or two matchups. So maybe he, he gets in, gets, gets something going. Maybe the. Uh, Maybe the free agency comes, I drop him, but before that, he's there. Uh, hope to use him. Round nine. Finally, finally, I go with defense instead of offense. And I chose Cradley. Cradley is something that I love. I bring to almost every battle I go to. Uh, he's my, one of my defensive, uh, my defensive guys. He stealth rock. Reliable recovery um, was on my list from the beginning. One that do I take him around nine? Do I take him around seven? Do I wait till the absolute end? Um, I love Cradley, and with Cradley, finally gives me a way to put hazards up, a way to not get bops by one shot every time. Uh, I can go off uh, uh, physically defense. Especially defense, it's there, and uh, I love it. Round 10. Round 10, I picked Reggie Gigas. Reggie Gigas, we all know, has a terrible ability. We know that nobody uses it because of that terrible ability. But when I first started looking through the list, and I saw Reggie Gigas 2 mil, I thought, maybe, maybe I can find a way to make it work. Maybe I can be the guy that uses Regigigas and is successful. Um, maybe he doesn't even show up. 
maybe he's just there, maybe I drop him. But I think, I mean, I haven't looked too hard into um, team matchups just yet, but I think that if I get the opportunity and I bring Reggie Gigas, he hopefully works out. When round 10 came around, everybody finished off their team, but I, I went the extra mile. I went and took and filled the last roster spot, round 11, and I took Torkoal. Torkoal is something like Cradley that I love using in every tier, every tier it's available. Um, Torkoal is super defensive, and he gives me another way to get rid of uh, um, hazards. It can set up hazards with Stealth Rock, and that's something I really needed. Um, like I said, he was on the list. Um, I didn't think anybody would take him, so when round 11 came, I'm like, man, he's there. I need Torkoal. I think he's more than worth the, uh, the the little he was listed for. So Torkoal is... Don't sleep on Torkoal. That's the team. That's the squad. Um, I'm happy with it. The more I look at it, the more I see where I could have done better. But for the most part, I like my team. Um, if you can't tell by the picks, uh, I'm not the most stally defensive player. I like to go hit, switch, hit, switch. And with the team I have, I can do that. Um, I look forward to what I do uh, my week one. I'm planning that out now. Um, but it's it'll be fun. Um, I'm excited to see how the other teams prepare for me and how I prepare for the other teams. Um, and uh, thanks for watching. Good luck to everybody out there, and bye-bye.